Hi lovelies, welcome back once again to the best kitchen. And I believe you are all doing great. Today I want to share with you how I made this colorful, creamy and delicious mac and cheese. You will love the recipe, so stay tuned and be inspired. Without further ado, lovelies, let's begin. In a saucepan, I've added water and now my chicken seasoning. I'm stirring to mix everything together nicely. And I'll go ahead and add my salt to taste. Here we go. Continue to stir until the salt is well dissolved and now add oil. So that the macaroni wouldn't stick to each other when they are cooking, okay? I'm using spiral macaroni and I'm using the whole pack, yeah? You can use the elbow macaroni and it's fine, all right? This looks so good. So straight away, I'm going to add it to our water just like so and I'll allow them to cook for about seven minutes and I'll turn off the heat and drain off the hot water okay so now stir to mix everything together again for them to properly combine now add a little bit of water just so it's above the macaroni okay Ooh, this smells and tastes good already now after that let's go right out for you to cook to perfection yes so whilst it's cooking let me introduce you to the rest of our ingredients and i've got cheddar and red cheese i've got sour cream and chives i've also got whipped cream and i've got butter here but right now our macaroni is ready so let's go ahead and drain off the hot water and after that you will come and grate some of the cheese and cheddar and add them to the macaroni okay so now let's go ahead and add our macaroni to the bowl Hot is hot, let's add butter, okay, for flavor. And again, it will help the macaroni not to stick to each other. Even though you've added oil from the beginning, it's still going to help to, to just separate them properly, okay? So keep stirring until all the butter melts through the macaroni nicely and beautifully. And boy, oh boy, this tastes so great. Mmm, super delicious. Next, I'm grating some of our red cheese onto our macaroni. Remember, we are making this macaroni cheese colorful and delicious. Okay, so just add some of the red cheese to it. And for more color and flavor, add some paprika powder, yeah? Like I'm doing. And in its hot state, make sure to stir until the cheese melts through the macaroni. And also make sure the paprika powder is well incorporated, okay? Lovelies, please don't forget to like, share, comment on the video if so far you are enjoying the recipe. So next, I'm adding some herbs and natural seasonings. Okay, and I love this so much. It's so complete and I love all the ingredients put together. So now sprinkle some on the macaroni and stir to mix everything together nicely and beautifully. Now to the macaroni, I'm adding half of my sour cream and chive and I'll leave the half for later, okay? Now start to mix everything together until the cream is well incorporated, yeah? And if it's your first time stumbling on this channel, hey, you are warmly welcome. So far, if you're enjoying my recipe, please subscribe to join this amazing family and I'm so sure you love it here, okay? We are all done combining. So let's set it aside to kind of give it time to marinate whilst we grate our cheddar and cheese, okay? The kind of cheese and cheddar you use will determine how your macaroni and cheese will look like or how flavorful it's going to be. This kind of cheese and cheddar I'm using, I love them so much because they are so flavorful. So always make sure to buy the ones that are made with love and taste so great, okay? So lovelies, we are all done grating. Let's set them aside and make our custard. In a bowl, I'm adding two eggs. Mix them nicely and then add your whole milk, okay? After the whole milk, I'm adding my whipped cream or heavy cream, okay? And now the rest of my sour cream and chive. Okay. For color and flavor, I'm adding paprika powder and I'll stir. I'll again add my complete seasoning. 
just lying so and it's a combination of herbs and natural seasoning and i love them okay you can even use only black peppercorns and you'll be fine let's let's grease our baking dish with butter you can even use any oil of your choice okay but i prefer butter because of its flavor okay we are all done now let's add our macaroni and cheese okay after adding the macaroni then you level it up nicely just like so and add your custard this custard smells so good so next you add your block cheddar also on top and then add the grated cheddar again all right and then you add your seasonings okay this like so and for color i'm adding my paprika powder just like so so next i'll add my grated red cheese mm, amazing lovely please don't forget to like share comment on the video okay now we are done with the first layer so let's add the rest of our macaroni and cheese just like so and then again we level it up with our spoon or spatula and then repeat the same process by adding our custard yeah after that we add our grated red cheese and cheddar okay beautiful before i add them i'm using my spoon to push the macaroni down a bit okay to make it stay properly in our baking dish all right next for color i'm adding my paprika powder and then into the oven it goes 45 minutes later our delicious and colorful macaroni and cheese is so ready and look at that so finally we are all done making our colorful and delicious macaroni and cheese and i hope you've been inspired lovely for more of my videos follow me on instagram like and follow my facebook page and also follow your girl on TikTok and Twitter for more updates, yeah? This is so creamy and I love this. Lovely, you are all invited. You need to be here to taste this amazing macaroni and cheese. But don't worry, I'll do all the tasting for you, okay? All you need to do is just go out there, grab all the ingredients and make some for the family. So enjoy. Thank you all for watching to this point. Take care. Bye, y'all. Hello lovelies, can you subscribe to, to my mom's channel and help her get to 20k subscribers? Thank you.